And that goes to the next topic, commitment. I sat in a meeting the other day doing PI planning. Everybody wants to know what the teams are going to commit to. And I'm like, that's not what you want to do in this pace. In a normal environment where things are stable, fine. Works great. In this environment where the entire country, India, is closing down, no, it does not work. You know, and they're like, oh, we're going to get, we gotta get to a commitment. I'm like, no, you don't. Change. Be more agile. I am sorry, but no, it doesn't work that way right now. And I'm banging my head against the wall with these other agile coaches and managers. It's like, no, just prioritize the work you have. And I'm kind of going, what I wasn't going to go into, but I'm going to do it. Just prioritize the work you have in order you want to do it. And the team will get as much stuff done as they can. There are no promises to be made or kept during this period of time. And I'm just giving you the honest truth. If you can't listen to honest truth, one, you're not a leader. And two, you're not an agile person. And three, you suck. I said it. You suck. Sorry. <laughs> I'll put that on my tent. If you can't realize that, that you're not going to get what you normally get during this period, and you think everything's going to be perfect, no matter who you are, anywhere, like the people at the grocery store, why can't I get my rolls of toilet paper? Because there's a bunch of idiots out there bought all the toilet paper. Well, why can't I get this now? And why can't I go shopping? Why can't I have my hair done? Because I need my hair done, as you can tell. I need a I need a quaff. I need a quaff here, right? Why can't I do it? Because it ain't going to happen, right? So even me, who was like, yeah, I think this is overblown. I still kind of do. I'm sorry. You can hate me, whatever. But it is what it is. It's the fact of the day. You have to be limbo, limber and be able to adjust for it. Things have changed. At least for this point, we're going, still going down the hump. I don't know if we'll come back. We'll come back up the hump, and I think we're going to go gangbusters. But we'll talk about that later. But be a leader. Be realistic. Things aren't going to happen. Change your desired output and what your outcome is. Change your expectations. You have to be able to change. If you can't change your expectations, you're a jerk. And you're like, I need a commitment from you. And it better be the same velocity as before the coronavirus. This is what you should do. Then you are a jerk. And you're really not too smart. And if you want me to come into your, your, your facility to tell your... Listen to what they're talking about. I said, what are we talking about? This is why I, you adjust the scope, what you're going to deliver, and have that flexibility. If you think it's going to be the same scope that you promised before, you need to engage with your customers. You need to engage. Now, this is a business. Don't want to talk to your customer. Go engage with them. Be honest with them. Be open with them so that when this does happen, that you have a good relationship. I think they would appreciate the honesty. I think they would work with you on what, what you can pick, what they really need. They'll help hone in the um, priorities a little better, what is really MVP. You just got to go out and do it, and you got to talk to them. Sorry. Got to engage with the customer and ask them what they think and ask them their questions and tell them where you're at. And it's going to be on VTC, uh, uh, video teleconference. I used to call it VTC back in the day. You know, video chat, whatever. You know, it is what it is. And say, what are we going to do? What do you want to do? And then work it out. Um, but that's what I got. And uh, this is the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. Hope you're all doing well. And it's a tough time. And we are here to talk Agile and Scrum in a tactical and practical way. Also, how you apply that. But also, mostly in business. Talk about how we use those techniques to get you home to family and friends, build more value for the customer, and get it done in a normal work environment, not the eight, not the 60 hours a day, you know, a week, um, 10 hour a day things, and to balance work and life and have some fun, right? Um, but that's what I got. And with that, I wish you a healthy, happy day. And if you like our show, please ring. 
I am starting to put out some more content, which I'll put out there throughout the day and take advantage of Eddie's 180,000 views on this little tiny uh, video in YouTube. All right, good for him. He's going to be YouTube master, right? Um, you have an awesome day. Take care. Enjoy. Have some fun. Don't forget, take some breaks. Don't work 10 hours. You know, do what you normally do. Work some hours, get up, walk around, get a drink, get a coffee, whatever you got to do. 